So Amber, you play Tamar. I do. Um, I love uh, this series and that, again, you, you hear the chosen, oh yeah, it's a lot about the disciples and the apostles, you know, those yeah. who follow Jesus. And then there's these awesome women roles in them as well. Let's start there and what that means to you. Right. Uh, Tell us a little bit about the character, too. Okay, okay so I'm Amber. I play Tamar in The Chosen, who's also known as the Ethiopian woman. Yeah. She was the best friend of the paralytic that, that Jesus performed his first public miracle on in um, season one, episode six, Indescribable Compassion. And I think that was just supposed to be the end of her journey. <laughs> but <laughs> for some reason, they decided it'd be a good idea to bring me back. And in season two, we, we find out that she's going to be joining the group. So in season three, what we're going to see is the dynamic that happens when a Gentile joins a group of Jews mm. and the challenges that are going to come from that and also the beautiful moments, too, that come from being the other mm -hmm. and, 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 and wanting to belong so much. And I know what that feels like as a human, you know, as a black woman. And, and I think people really love to see that, too, on screen. Like, I have so many messages of people like, oh, I'm so happy when I saw you. I felt represented. Um, it was great. My daughter. And, you know, it's, it's great to see someone that looks like me on screen. And and that's who tomorrow, tomorrow was the other. You know, she came from a faraway land to this place to start anew because she has quite the story. And we're going to um, dive into that in season three of the reason why she's even there in the first place. And it's... It's such a powerful story, and it really informs who she is today and why she is. And and um, I think it's going to touch people when they when they see it. Well, and I just think you know that's what that's what Jesus is about too, and making sure that everyone knows you know whatever their walk of life is, mm -hmm. they're included. You they're know, they're included. loved just as much. Um, tell me a little bit about I guess taking on this you know this job and. It, I'd imagine it was life-changing for you. I can't imagine that being a part of this culture and from everything and everybody we're meeting, it's just, it's different. You know, they're doing everything. Got to get used here. to different. Yeah. So, I mean, what has that been like for you as a person? Just being here on, on The Chosen. I tell you, and many of them might echo my sentiments, is that nobody expected this when we signed on. We were just like, oh, this is great storytelling. Like, yeah. sounds good. I'd, I'd love to be a part of this project. I, like, flew myself from Madrid to be on the show the first season. Um, and then I was like, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> and as the years have progressed, because I'm going to say that's 2019. Oh, my gosh, the years have just gone by. Um, I started to see the global impact that it started to have and the messages started to show up and the DMs started um, ringing and my followers started to increase and I was just like, whoa, what's, what's, what's going on here? And I would get these, like, these powerful stories of what The Chosen has meant to the fans that have watched it in my inbox and you have no other choice but to be moved by them. Even at the feeding of the 5,000, I went there just just to be with the fans and to see how they were going because it was hot. And I had someone come up to me and she was just like, she was beautiful. She had on like this amazing regalia and um, it was a, a, a fantastic wardrobe. And she's like, um, my, my mother made this for me based off your character. And I was like, oh, that's great. And she said, well, my mother died mm -hmm. last December. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. She's like, but you are our favorite character. And she felt so connected to you, and I just wanted to thank you for being here. And I was just like, like the imposter syndrome. Sometimes it's just it's huge because you're like, how am I a part of something like that's touching people in this way that they fly from I think it was 36 different countries, if I'm correct, to be to to be a part of what we're doing here. And you can't help but to be moved and affected and impacted. And I mean, but that's what you want too at the end of the day as a storyteller, as an artist, is you want what you do to impact those that, that, that um, consume it, that watch it. And The Chosen being faith-based, it does it so well that it, it just transcends yeah. religion. Like, because you have all these, these um, different religious backgrounds who are like, we love this chosen why mm -hmm. this is a christian series it's a face-based show like i don't even believe and i love this show that's what they do it's transcending race and nationality and sex and sexuality and it's like because the chosen is telling you that you all belong mm -hmm. and that your story is valid mm -hmm. 
and they honestly tell these stories, which makes humans, because that's all we want to do is connect, to connect to it. And when you watch it, you say, that's my story. Yeah. And how can you not be just in love um, with, with the show when something like that happens, or, or a person when someone provides that to you and they provide a safe space or relatability. You just want to keep them around. And so I'm really blessed <laughs> because Here the Chosen is finishing up on season three and having even a few of the episodes of season four already funded, um, like the largest, the largest band supported show that ever existed. That's, that's huge. What's next for you? I mean, do you try to, I mean, you know, everyone has their bucket list. Are they ever, I mean, do you try to, here's what I'd like to do, or do you yeah. just stay in the moment and just say, well, let me just play this out, and then we'll see where it goes from there? Well, I, that's where me and Tamar, I mean, well, we, we kind of, we got that in common. Is I just kind of walk by faith at this yeah. point. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the plan is for me, and honestly, it's none of my business until it gets here. <laughs> so I just take day by day, mm -hmm. and I try to be present. And that's going to be the most important thing just for me is to be present and to remember to enjoy the journey that I'm on, wherever that's leading. I just let, I just let, just let God, God lead me, you know, yeah. on that path. Um, and try not to do it for myself because once you start making plans, <laughs> you find out real quick. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. I've been so, there many times. Absolutely. And so I just kind of reached this point in my life where it's just like, you know what? Let me just walk by faith. And what's for me is for me and what's not is going to pass me by. And that's great. And so um, I'm really hoping that we can see even more of Tamar in future seasons. I'm not sure, but I would love that. Um, they've kind of set the stage, so fingers okay. crossed. Because right. <laughs> there's so much more that could be still yeah. told about her story, so I'm really excited. For those who have not watched yet, yeah. what is your message to them about tuning in? Oh my gosh, it's going to be a bombshell. That's all I can say. It's going to be a bombshell. And I think when you watch for season three, mm -hmm. it's going to be... It's like a season of transition. Everyone is finding out what happens after you make that decision to follow Christ because that's the easy part. Yeah, okay, I'm going to be a Christian now. Right. <laughs> that's the easy part, my friend, because once you decide to get on that path, it's the journey and staying and keeping that journey is going to be the greatest challenge. And so with every single <laughs> every yeah. single person, every single apos uh, uh, um, disciple, apostle, um, all the women on the show, you're going to see the challenges that come from after you make that decision, which is what's going to be what we relate to as human beings mm -hmm. is those those challenges. And I think they're going to have a lot of fun with that, and they're going to be able to watch it and say, that's me. It's my mom, that's my dad, that's my cousin, my best friend. And you're not gonna be able to look away. Yeah. I'm like, when they when they <laughs> give me the script, I'm like, oh, I got okay, I gotta read the next episode. So like it's I'm I'm right there with you guys. I'm excited to see it too. Do you have a favorite scene or is there any kind of one moment of the series that sticks out where you go, you know, okay. In season three? Season three or any of them, you well, know. I'm gonna tell you one of my favorite scenes, and I'll try to do it really quickly, is um gonna be in season two. And I want to say it was episode three, where they're all around the campfire, mm -hmm. and they're there, and they're and they're like just bickering. Yeah. All the uh -huh. disciples are bickering, and saying, "You don't belong here, Matthew. Well, you're this way, and you're that way." And Mary's kind of just, yeah, she yeah. just come back from her own, um, where she, you know, she went back to that dark place, and they're all there, so self-involved. And then Jesus returns, and he's. He's exhausted and he's covered in other people's blood and, and, and dirt. And uh, Mary, Mother Mary runs to him and washes his feet. And every single person sitting around that fire is humbled. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's how we are. Sometimes we're so self-involved and so concerned about what we have going on in our own lives that we forget about the sacrifices that have been made for us to be where we are. Mm -hmm. And so that was one of the most powerful. That was one of my favorite scenes, absolutely. I got some from season three, but I can't talk about it. <laughs> That's been the theme here, by the way. I have absolutely loved chatting with you. So I hope to be back for season four and season five and season six with more of your storyline in there. I hope so, so too. Carly, it's been such a pleasure yeah. meeting Take you. Take care. God bless. You too.